St. Cloud is home to countless stories, especially in its historical Southside neighborhood. Surrounding the campus of St. Cloud State University, it is home to many local landmarks, including the Tilston Mansion, now known as the Acacia House. Um, well, it was owned by uh, Mr. Tilston, and he was one of the wealthiest men in St. Cloud around its building time, which was 1892. And um, he was, this actually became one of the first mansions that was ever built in St. Cloud. He owned a couple of the bigger uh, factories in town. And also, um, a lot of the architecture is a mixture of styles, and this is the neighborhood that is the uh, first housed neighborhood in St. Cloud with actual decently built buildings with like bricks and stuff like that. Years later, once it changed owners a few times, they built the, s the story that's on top, which is technically a half so story. Rather than three, it's two and a half. It was designed by Charles S. Sebwick and constructed by J.C. Stout in 1888. After Tilston's death in 1895, it was home to St. Cloud's most prominent people, such as the president of the First National Bank, Elwyn F. Moore, and city dentist, Dr. John W. Nope. Following Dr. Nope's death in 1982, the mansion was taken over by the Acacia fraternity, which, to students' delight, remains there to this day. I like it a lot. Like, it has a lot of character. It has its, like, issues, of course, but I, I really like it. It's, it's kind of cool living in the first mansion, St. Cloud. But living in an old mansion does have its faults. You can tell it's old. Uh, the wiring is certainly out of date and it makes having a lot of people living here kind of hard, um, being as the circuits are not as powerful as they are nowadays and whatnot, they can't handle as much, and that's kind of an issue. With modernization, the Historical Society has their own input on keeping this place authentic. It's, it's hard because we have to work with the uh, historical like society and stuff to make sure the, like when we do renovations and stuff that everything is like to their standards and stuff. We have uh, yearly inspections from um, one from the Historical Society, uh, three from the Fire Department and Police Department, just to make sure that all the inspections go over okay. And uh, they make us keep to a higher standard than some normal houses because they want the aesthetics on the outside of the house, at least, to remain as true to their orig original form as possible. Mm -hmm. So, like, our landlord has to take special um, certification courses that allow him to work on historical buildings and such like this. So uh, we are able to do very small things like add our sign out to the front. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same way it was way back in the day. With multiple additions, including an approved volleyball court out front, it still stands at 398 3rd Avenue South, St. Cloud, Minnesota. For more information, contact the Acacia Fraternity at acacia-scsu.org or acacia.org 1-800-273-7000.